Good morning, my brothers and sisters from the land of the blog. I'm Don. This is my blog, obviously. I'm the guy talking. And I just want to say thank you for coming and viewing my blog. And I just speak a blessing of peace upon your day. And just thank God for you. And today I want to talk about, in my own life, who Jesus is, who I believe He is. I believe that He is Lord to the glory of God the Father. I believe that He is the God who, who spoke all things into existence. I believe that He is the first and the last. That there is no way to come to the Father but through Jesus. And I believe that the Holy Spirit is the facilitator. But I believe that Jesus did all the work. That He did all the work for us. That there isn't anything that we can do to earn His grace. That's His unmerited favor. There is nothing that we can do to earn our salvation because it's not by our works lest any man should boast. That it is by His plan, His design, that, that we come to Him, to the Father through Jesus. That we should be looking to the Father to see what He's doing and saying through Jesus. Not in our own works, not in our own grace, not in our own glory. And any glory that we get, we should be giving it back to God. And in the first scripture, I want to read, it's in uh, Colossians 2, verse 15. It says, He disarmed the rulers and authorities and put them to open shame by triumphing over them. In other words, Jesus overcame any kind of authority that's on earth. Now, when Adam fell, he gave his authority to Satan and his kingdom. But when Jesus died, he took it back from him. He says, I have the keys of life and death. All authority belongs to me. And that is true. All authority belongs to Jesus. And he delegates that authority, just like he delegated it to the apostles, to the twelve disciples, to those who are in his group. He delegates that authority to us. And we walk in those things, those talents and gifts that are given to us are delegated to us by God. Not to hide, but to let the world say, see and say, Glory to God! You want to bring glory to God. It says to not hide your light under a bushel, but to let men see your good works that they might bring and praise and glory to God the Father. And I know that's a <laughs> just my version of it. And uh, the second scripture I have is uh, John 1, 1 through 3. It says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In other words, there's truly nothing new. This plastic around this monitor came from elements that Jesus spoke into existence. The glass on the monitor came from elements that were spoken into existence. There's truly nothing new under the sun because Jesus created it all. We couldn't create it. We couldn't even rub two sticks together and make fire if Jesus wouldn't have made those sticks. Or flint and steel or what, whatever, a match. The point is, is all things were created by God. And that's Jesus. And then, in uh, Revelation uh, 1, 8, 1 8, it says, I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. Now Jesus is talking about himself there. My question is, who's God in your life? Who's the creator of all things in your life? Ask yourself this. Ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to you where your heart really is. And I'm going to talk about a little bit about a dream I had last night. 
this dream. It really wasn't a dream. It was. It was a. I was just thinking in my dream. I guess it was somebody was speaking in my dream, and they were talking about gods. Gods. I don't know what they're. All I heard was gods. I heard it twice, and then I heard another voice say that there was one God who was above all gods, and his name is Jesus. Our hope should be in Jesus. All things point to Jesus. All things point to the, His glory. To God's glory. To God the Father. Jesus brought all glory to the Father. And the Holy Spirit introduces us to Jesus. And through Jesus, we bring glory to the Father. I'm not 100% sure how it works. I have an idea in my own self. But I'm going to keep that to myself for the time being. What, what the Lord's been revealing to me. But our freedom is in Jesus. And if you feel like you don't have that freedom in Jesus, ask the Holy Spirit to reveal that to you. Pray to Jesus and say, Jesus, speak the truth to me. Ask the Father who, who you are. Ask, ask God who you are. Three separate individual persons, yet one. Just like we have body, soul, and spirit. And that's about as deep as I'm going with that. And I just want to say thank you again for viewing my blog, for coming in here and hearing me. And Father, I just ask that you would just reveal your love to my, your children, my brothers and sisters. And Jesus, you would reach deep in within us and pull those things out and replace your grace in us. Teach us who you are, who you truly are, Lord God. And Holy Spirit, lead us in the truth. You are the teacher, you are the comforter, and I thank you for that. And I just bless you, mighty God. And I just ask that you would just bless my brothers and sisters watching and not watching today. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, I'll see ya!